What's up? I'm Lucas Schramm. I'm a 2022 outfielder from Apex, North Carolina. I'm committed to the University of Kentucky, and this is what's in my baseball bag. So, first off, it's a little bizarre. I got a case of juice boxes because I'm diabetic, so you never know when I'm gonna have to go and uh, pop one of these. So that's just handy. And I've got a lot of cleats in here right now and turf shoes just because I don't have a locker right now, school season isn't on. So these are my turfs. I like to hit in these, anything pregame. Um, they're Adidas because uh, my school is partnered with Adidas and I was able to get them for pretty cheap. But as a lot of you other guys that play baseball in the summer know, you played a lot of turf complexes and they kind of get on your butt for wearing uh, spikes. So I got these Nike football cleats. Um, not football cleats, I've always been a fan of Nike. Um, they've always fit my foot the best. And uh, yeah, they're pretty light too. So now getting into more pairs of cleats, <laughs> I got all the old Adidas Aero, not Aero burners, but um, Adidas Zeros. Uh, they're super cheap now. I really love the feel. They're super, super light, and um, I like the colors that they have to offer. Uh, so they've got those. And uh, my little highlighters. <laughs> um, my school is uh, black, green, and yellow. They just incorporated the green, but I really like the yellow. And I like to um, sort of add my own little flair sometimes, wherever I can. Not to be too obnoxious or anything, but I just like to sort of be myself. And I think uh, cleats are a way for me to do that. Um, getting into gloves, we got my old glove that I used since I was in about eighth grade. And then I just got this um, for my birthday in September. Um, it says, uh, it's got the cross and the he would love first right here, uh, you know, put my faith out there. And then um, uh, it says, in God we trust, you guys say it right here. Um, I don't know, I've just been uh, brought up on values of America. My dad's a veteran and um, I just like to, you know, incorporate my little flair and things like that. Working a little further into it, uh, I got my Evo shields. I haven't really used Evo shields for a while or anything, but um, they just keep me a little more comfortable in the box. You know, everybody says they look cool, and um, I don't know, they just, it's just what I like to do. Oh, my first base mitt, I've had this since I was like 12, but uh, sometimes you never know when it's gonna come in handy, whenever there's gonna be a spot you need to fill. Um, and it's also just good to be versatile whenever you can. Got uh, my helmet with, I don't even know how many pairs of batting gloves some leaves too, um, but I'm a big Franklin guy. I grew up watching David Ortiz and that's all he wore, so I you know, wanted to be like him. Also wore number 34 for about 10 years, so um, that's that. And I've got different balls and a few weighted balls, you know, just to put in the glove of uh, the pocket of the glove, keep that pocket firm. I mean, Everybody sort of knows what works best for them. I think this was, works best for me. I've got these weighted balls. Oh shoot, they're gonna roll. But um, just help me warm up, get loose, different things. If I'm uh, feeling a certain way that day, these just help me sort of get over that hurdle if you're sore. Uh, I also got, this is one of the last big things I got, J-bands, this is a necessity, um, especially for guys who are wanting to prevent arm injury or recover from it. Uh, I personally had Tommy John in uh, June, so these are definitely becoming a big part in my recovery. Um, and I definitely don't wish this process on anybody else. And it's so easy to just do these before games, after games, before or after you throw. There's really no reason why you shouldn't have them. Also, I just got different things like a arm sleeve, belt. I don't know, sometimes when I was younger, I was pretty forgetful. I'm getting better at it, but uh, it's, you never want to be that one guy that shows up without a belt and gets clowned the whole day. A little bat weight, just to sort of hit with. It's, it, this is nice, so you can just strap it over the barrel. And um, it's not too heavy or anything. It just helps you get a little bit of a warm up in with it before the game or practice or really just train bat speed. Stick a pine tar. <laughs> Everybody has this in their bags. Um, it's January right now, so it's 
not really usable. For hello toys, I know they aren't technically in my bag, but um, I've got, this is what I mainly use for my wood game or practice. Um, then I've got this pink one. I got it on sale and uh, it was ridiculously cheap. Decent cut of wood. I, I mean, I'm not too particular about my wood bats. I mean, whatever works, works. And then my uh, Rawlings. I've had this for about a year. Um, it's done me well so far, so I have no plans on changing. So uh, that's what's in my bag.